From Ogara in Delta State, we traveled over 450 kilometers to Ibadan, southwest Nigeria. The city at Nigerian independence was the largest and most populous in the country. The city of Ibadan plays host to us not just for its traditional or cultural heritages, but for one young man who has ventured into the world of aeronautic engineering. Let's get to meet him and get to know how he actually got into this on Eyewitness Report. I'm Chris Elem, so let's meet Olaolu. Uh, hello, you, how you doing? Fine, well, good to meet you. Olaolu is a 23-year-old computer science graduate of the Ladoke Akintola University of Bomosho. And just like Agogo, he too has taken a step down the road encapsulated in his vision. I love big dreams. I love big dreams because uh, it's only those who are willing to go beyond the possible that actually can know how far it's possible. So since I was... He takes us on a journey down all lanes since he caught the aeronautic bug. I was, and there was this time that there were severe uh, aircraft accidents those times. I think it was like four accidents happened in this country. And that year, it, it really still um, sparked my interest in, okay, let's build planes that are made in Nigeria and for Nigeria. Because I think that was going to be a solution to the um, aviation challenges we had in this country. So that really spawned my interest. But um, there was no school. There was no aeronautical school in Nigeria. So that's why I couldn't study uh, aeronautics. But um, the change happened um, when I was quite younger. I read uh, a book, The Richest Man in Babylon. And um, in the book, they said um, learning was of two kinds. The first kind being the things we were taught and we knew. And the second, time, the second type being the training that helped us to get the things we did not know. And that really sparked something new in me that, okay, even if I can't study aeronautics in a school, it's something I can study on my own. So that really has spawned my interest and my research. So it's been more of uh, a trial and error learning that I've been doing since I was young, since I've been 13, I've been doing things like this. He has crafted a drone and a flying car and he speaks on the objective behind the creations. There are limitations to a plane. There are limitations to a car. So when we combine both, we are able to get the advantages of a car and the advantages of a plane, a plane F that's fine. For example, now, um, in an emergency situation, a car might get stuck in traffic. But if it's actually a flying car, we can't get stuck in traffic. So we have the advantage of the mobility of a car with the flight of a plane. So that's what actually um, inspired me to do this, that, okay, if this is something that can actually be brought to life, something that can actually build a life prototype. It's something that can actually solve a lot of problems for us. It's time we had a test flight. First is the flying car. So as a car, it can move in the ground. And as a plane, it can take off. It can take off vertically like, a, like an helicopter. Okay, okay. And it can also bring... Yeah, it can, it can move back. Just it. Next is the drone. Hey, the wind has started again. Olaolu has shown that anything is doable and achievable if we set our heart at it. Just the kind of attitude we need today in order for us to move the nation forward. What is left is for the country to draw strength from the contributions of the likes of Olaolu and at the same time find a way to develop and reward such efforts.